Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how do we uh, reshape data in R. So, uh, so, so sometimes we have a wide format data and we would like to convert it into a long form data. Uh, sometimes we have a long form data and we would like to convert that into a wide form data. And uh, for this, we have different packages uh, in R. We have Reshape 2. So these are the two widely used packages, uh, Reshape 2 and uh, Tidy R, which comes from the uh, sets, of, sets of packages related to Tidyverse. Uh, so before we move into uh, uh, this lecture, uh, let, me sh let me discuss what do we mean by uh, uh, long form and short uh, wide form data. So here we have uh, two firms and uh, we have their let's say net income or stock price for different years. Uh, but the way this data is set is that uh, we have a column for each uh, year. So this is what we call a wide form data where we do not have a specific variable uh, we, do, we do not have a specific column for a single variable. So this is a stock price and we do not have a single column for this whole stock price. Uh, compared to this, uh, this data set, uh, this is the same data, but I have converted this into a long form data. Uh, in long form, we have, uh, we have uh, a, a specific column for a specific variable, right? So instead of uh, having columns for each year, we have a column for each variable. Okay, so let's move to R and uh, let's look into uh, different ways. How do we convert uh, this or reshape this data? So firstly, if uh, we would work with uh, the tidyverse package, right? And then we would look into uh, the reshape to package because these are the two widely used packages. Uh, if you are coming from, uh, I mean, if you have been using R for quite some time, then you would be using a, a reshape to package. Uh, so sometimes you have uh, code from different people. Uh, they might have written it uh, earlier uh, during their career and they might have used uh, reshape too. So that's why it's important that we cover uh, both of these packages. So firstly, how do we install a package? We use uh, install.packages and write the name of the package. I've already installed it. So I would not uh, need to install this, but if you wanted to, you would highlight this and execute the run button or uh, press control uh, enter. Uh, then we would activate the package using library. So this is the tidyverse package. Uh, so I pressed control enter and this activated the package and gave me certain warnings, but for now ignore these warnings. So let's uh, import some data set. So I have a example.csv file in my hard drive. Uh, it contains uh, data for different firms, right? Uh, for different uh, time periods. So we have different firms, their stock prices, and we have uh, different years. So this is how the data looks like. There are certain missing values. Uh, now, so how do we uh, import this data? We use read.csv and we give it the location of the file. In this case, I am only mentioning the the file name and for that it is important that you have already set the working directory if you want to set the working directory click, click on session then go to set working directory and uh, click to the source file so wherever this uh, this r code file is present uh, in this case i have it in my e drive in the reshape data folder right so this is the folder so i have uh, I have told R that uh, whichever file you want to search would be in this uh, this specific directory. So I've set the working directory. This is the command for it. Okay, so let me execute this. And what I am doing is I am saving this data into a data frame by name of wide 
data original. So if I can show you the data, we have this exact same data that that is coming from the CSV file. We have 29 observations and eight variables. Okay, so let's using tidyverse package, let's convert. Uh, it is already in wide format. So if you can look at the data, currently it is in wide format by default. The original data set is in the wide format data. Uh, so what I want is first I want to convert from wide to long. So for this, we can use pivot longer uh, command. Uh, pivot longer, uh, as the name suggests, is convert uh, from wide to long format. So uh, we already have it in wide format. So we want to convert it to longer format. So we use pivot longer. Then we uh, then there are different parameters that we need to specify. The first parameter is that what is the data set that you want to convert. So we have to specify the uh, the the data frame that holds our data. So in this case, it is wide data original, uh, the one that that is over here. Then we would have to specify which columns do we want to uh, reshape like we have symbols over here but we obviously we want to reshape these columns so instead of specifying all these seven columns what i said is that i use this exclamation sign and exclamation in r means not so i have excluded a uh, symbol column so except for the symbols column right this one i want all these to be reshaped into uh, a long format because this does not contain the uh, the stock prices. So these are the stock prices, the rest of the columns. So except for the symbol column, so column you want to convert. I do not want this to be converted, uh, but these all to be converted from long to the wide format. Uh, then uh, we need to specify names too. And what it means is that uh, it would extract these names from the column names and uh, where do we want these names to be saved? I mean, what is the name? What will be the name of this new column that would be created uh, that would hold the name of these columns? And um, I want it to be called name. So this is the name of the new column that would be created. For now, let me delete this command, this parameter and I would come back to this later on. Uh, lastly, we would have to specify uh, the, the new column that would save the values. So values two, and because we know that these are the stock prices, so where we want these values to go into, we want it to create a new column, which is called stock price, and we want it to contain values so let me also remove this let me just execute uh, this part so we want it to save this the, this whole process uh, the, the the result of this whole process into uh, this specific uh, data uh, frame which is called long data pivot longer i'm just using uh, this this name so that we know that which command did we used uh, to convert this data so let me select this, press control enter. And you can see that a new uh, data frame had been generated. It contains 203 observations, but there are three variables. So if I click on this, you can see that we have symbols, we have year, and we have stock prices. Uh, so now this data had been converted uh, so, so the data is same because if you look at this symbol in year 2000, it had a price of 406, right? Uh, similarly, in year 2001, it had 516 and so on and so forth. So the data remains the same. We have just changed the shape of the data. That's why we call it reshape. Okay. But one thing you would notice is that there is this close text being written over here. We do not want this to be written. We want it to be removed. We just want the ear digit to appear over here. That is where uh, uh, this prefix would come in. So what it says is, is it remove 
uh, any prefix from the names of the column. And in this case, we want to remove the word close, right? So close because it is closing prices. So let me re-execute this command. And what it would do is it would re, uh, rerun this process and delete the current data. And um, I mean, it would replace it with the new newer version of this uh, data set. Okay, so let me show it to you. So now you can see that the close, uh, the, the, the string close had been removed. But you can see that there are certain n's over here. This is not string. It is R's way of telling us that these values are missing. These are not applicable or missing values. So what we can do is uh, we can use this uh, tilde sign, which, uh, sorry, uh, uh, so not the tilde sign, but the pipe. This is what uh, in tidyverse they call it a pipe. What it means is that you perform this process and then uh, pipe the result into this specific function. Uh, so what we want is after performing this process, we want the result to go through this process uh, and so on and so forth. So what this is saying is that drop any uh, NA or missing observations. So if I execute this whole command, I, I just need to click anywhere and then press control enter and that would execute that whole uh, chunk of the block uh, uh, code, right? Uh, so now you can see that those NAs had been removed. These zeros are coming from the data. So these are not missing values. So NAs had been uh, removed from the data. So this was how do we convert uh, from white to long? Remember, if you want to look into further uh, parameter that can be used with pivot longer, you just use the question mark sign. It would open the help menu and you can see there are multiple uh, parameters that you can use and there are certain uh, there are explanation of these parameters. Uh, let me uh, give uh, so and then we have certain examples over here. Uh, one more thing to remember is that uh, this pivot longer in previous versions of tidyverse it was called gather right so if i can uh, quickly open the help menu of gather it would say it is uh, superseded so uh, the development on gather is 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 complete and for new code we recommend switching to pivot longer so pivot uh, so gather is the older version of pivot longer and so now uh, what it means is that uh, sometimes they have a newer function that supersedes the older functions and the older functions would not have any further development in them. So it's better to use uh, a newer function rather than using the older ones. So gather is the older version of favorite longer. So sometimes in certain code you might use, you might see gather being used. That is same as pivot longer. Okay. So let's see how do we convert from a long to wide format. So we already have uh, uh, this data being in long format. Let's convert this data back into the wide format. So we'd use pivot wider uh, command. Then we would specify the data. So in this case, we are going to use the data set that we have just generated, the pivot longer data. So we want uh, the names, uh, where should the names of the columns come from? Because now we would have a column for each year. So we want the names of the columns coming from the year column, right? So we are saying that the names of the column should comes, come from the year column, from the current data set. Where should the values come from? Values should come from the stock prices data. So let's execute this. Uh, Click anywhere in the chunk, uh, in the in this code code block, and press Control Enter, and you will see that a new data set had been generated, which is pivot wider and which is exactly similar to the original data set except for the close term term, the string that we had uh, we had removed. Okay. Uh, Remember, you can also use, uh, also look into the help menu of the pivot wider. And again, uh, the older version of pivot wider was called spread. 
so remember uh, we are using the name of the parameters but uh, i mean that is a lengthy way of working with code you can simply if you are familiar with how to work with code you just uh, do not need to write the name of the variable uh, even name of the parameter you can just simply uh, uh, provide their uh, their values right so this is exactly similar to this one uh, okay so let's move to our second package which is reshape 2 package so i have already installed it i would just uh, load the library using uh, library reshape 2 so here we have two functions one is melt and the second one is decast so melt converts from wide to long format it is uh, similar to pivot longer and decast converts from long to wide which is similar to pivot wider uh, so how do we use it uh, let's use the original data so we use the melt function then we specify the data which is our original data which is already in wide format so we are converting it into long format then i would specify the id variable this is the variable you can have multiple id variables but this is the variable that contains the id so in our case it is the uh, it is the symbol variable that contains the id then we would specify the variable names the uh, i mean where should these variable names be converted into it is this similar to a uh, names to uh, parameter in pivot longer then we have a values name which is similar to uh, values to uh, right so what it says is that this would be the new variable stock price that would be generated which would store the prices uh, the stock prices right so let me execute this and uh, uh, we can see that it should look uh, similar to uh, the pivot longer except for obviously the close string that we had removed uh, when we were using the pivot longer okay uh, again you can use uh, look into the help menu of uh, melt right then we have a uh, decast which is used to convert from long to wide format we specify the data again i am not using the name of the parameters uh, then we would specify uh, the symbols and the years uh, that would be converted uh, and then where uh, would the values come from so the values should come from the stock prices right so these are the two variables that contains the ids and unique identifier and then this is the stock price so let me execute this decast and uh, you can see that it is converted into the shape that we had originally so thanks for watching this video do subscribe to the channel and do hit the bell icon